Hey everybody, welcome back for more of the Indigo Disc DLC. Uh, it has been a bit for me. Uh, it's the holidays, so family's around, lots of noise, can't record. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to take advantage of a couple days where I can record and hopefully finish this off. Uh, happy holidays to everybody out there. If you celebrate or, or don't, I, I don't really know. Um, hopefully, if, if you do celebrate, you got some good stuff. Uh, I got a new controller, so you won't see uh, my character randomly doing this when I'm not actually pushing the controller. Uh, it's been nice. Uh, got a pretty good deal on it, actually. Anyway, we have a few more things left in the DLC. We have two uh, Paradox Pokemon to capture. We won't be able to get Entai and Raikou, sadly. Um, we can only get the ones that are exclusive to this one. Uh, but there are a few other things in this DLC. Plus the, the epilogue that comes out in January, so that should be good. I also realized that at the end of the last episode, I forgot to turn the audio back on. <laughs> After the credits. But it's it's okay, the audio's, the audio's working now. Alright, I know there's something here. There we go. So let's do this. Because some people told me to come here and to go to the school. Oh. I didn't even have him in my party. <laughs> well, that's good. Terra Luna. Okay. Oh, it's the professor. Well now, this is a curious development. Have I somehow broken through the boundaries of space-time? And who are you? Have we met? If so, I'm sorry, but I don't seem to recall it. I'm Professor Toro. I research Pokemon in Area Zero, and yet... What? This Pokemon, is this the Iron Serpent? Is that right? So its name is Marihidon. That's a good name. <laughs> from the clues you've already let slip, I suppose I would have to conclude, from my perspective, this must be the future. Though, of course, the complexities of space-time are beyond count possible that our encounter might not even be occurring in a timeline connected to my own. Perhaps this meeting is nothing more than a fleeting miracle. Why don't we exchange as much useful data as we can, in what little time that fate has gifted us? What do you want to know? Is there anything that you would like to ask me? I don't precisely know the cause. I was analyzing some recent data in my secret lab one moment, and the next I was standing here before you. Perhaps this is the influence of the crystal Pokemon that lies dormant in that place. Or perhaps the cause lies with you and I. Is there anything else you wish to ask me? I am researching methods to catch Pokemon that live in different timelines so I might transport them to the present day in my own timeline. It sounds fantastical, no doubt, but I am drafting plans now for a machine that may achieve it. You see, this book captured my imagination when I read it as a child, and has never let go. But progress has been slow, and besides my failures, I haven't left my lab in quite some time now. I desperately hope that I might glean some new insight from this conversation. So I can finally make progress and return home. Is there anything else you wish to ask me? Your family? Oh, you even wish to know about my private life? <laughs> I do have a family, a son. He is probably at home right now, well, no. But I suppose right now would be inaccurate. Whenever and wherever he is, I imagine he must be quite lonely. Now, 
Let us trade places in this exchange. I'd say the time has come for my own questions. What is this place? It doesn't appear to be anywhere in Paldea. So we're at Kitakami Crystal Pool. I remember reading about it in certain texts. It's said to be a place where water wells up from the ground, imbued with terrest terrestrial energy. It would seem that I have been shifted quite far in both space and time. My next question, then. That Pokemon you have. The Iron Serpent. I mean, Moraida. Tell me more about it. Yes, well, your personal attachment to the creature has no meaningful relevance to the... <laughs> forgive me. Perhaps that was rude. That book you have there. I don't recognize its cover. What is it? The Hidden Treasure of Area Zero. Would you let me see it for just a moment? Descriptions of the Area Zero under deaths. And... A record of Terrapago's awakening. Who is this Briar to have written such a work? Now isn't that something? A descendant of the author of the original Violet book. Exploration runs in the family, I see. At any rate, that is a book that would ignite the imagination of any true scientist. I'm sorry, but I miss... I simply must have the time to read this book more thoroughly. The mist is closing in once again. I assume that means our time is near its end. I wish I could spend longer getting to know the Iron Serpent, but I must hurry. That book, I imagine it must be quite valuable. It wouldn't feel right for me to claim it without offering you any recompense. In exchange, then, though I hate to part with something so precious to me, would you consider trading me that book for my copy of the Violet Book? Sure. I don't know if I should do this, but... <laughs> appreciate this more than you can imagine. Perhaps I should take this chance to go home and enjoy a bit of downtime with a good book. This is where we part, fellow adventurer and iron serpent. How lucky we were to meet across space and time. I bid you adieu. Goodbye, Toro. Well, that was pretty cool that they, like, threw in random stuff for us to go see. Mm -hmm. I thought I had autosave turned off. Whoa. Do we get a new, like, menu now? Well, that's pretty cool. I wasn't expecting it to go all the way out there. And now I'm back in school. <laughs> okay, well that saves me a bit of time. Um, This is the next part that we were going to do. Uh, saves me a bit of time of flying here. Let's go meet Team Star. They're supposed to be here... Oh my god. There's no way. <laughs> they look so normal. Oh my god, that's airy. Yo, Mark. Not every day we get to see him around the academy, huh? For sure. We're not in the same grade as Mark, either, so it's lucky we bumped into him. You doing alright, pal? Not sure what to make of that dumbfounded look you got going on there. I feel like I know you. 
Oh, that's right. I forgot we're not wearing our usual outfits today. Man, now that you mention it, I guess this is the first time he's seen us looking all proper in our academy uniforms. Jeez, now I feel all awkward about it. But hey, let's clear things up. It's me, Giacomo. Or DJ Bice when you catch me at the deck. Harry here, but I'm sure that was obvious. Because <laughs> you're so tall. We came in today to take some makeup tests. Figured it was about time we started crawling back at all that learning we missed out on while we were holed up in our bases. Our Team Star outfits aren't all that practical for tests and things, so we came in our new school uniforms. Hey Eric, you think Mark could help us out with our ongoing sitch? That's right, great idea Giacomo. Can I help with something? We've got a little proposal for you. How would you like to be a tutor? Oh dear god. Jeez, one step at a time. Maybe we should start by explaining what's going on. Whoops, right you are, Ari. So, uh, okay. Basically, the other Team Star bosses are having a rough time of it. You remember Melly, Ordi, and Atticus, right? Those three, yep. They've been taking makeup tests like us, but they sure ain't passing them. They might actually have to repeat the year, which would suck after all the effort they put in to come back to school. Before you ask, me and Ari have already tried tutoring them ourselves. But it didn't go well, at all. Nope. You know, I seriously didn't think those three have such a hard time. I mean, for me, it feels like all you need to do is to pass tests to learn formulas and memorize stuff. Guess I just can't wrap my head around what it is they can't wrap their heads around. <laughs> and I'm only good at teaching people if it's to do with sports or exercise. We heard from Penny that your grades are pretty decent. They are? <laughs> I feel like I'm never in a class, so how can they be decent? Hey, bet even Ortega and the others would perk their ears up if you dropped by to teach them. Which loops us right back to my opening refrain. I think you could help tutor for us. Uh, sure. I would be a terrible tutor in real life. <laughs> Thanks so much, Mark. You really are the best. I almost forgot. We gotta keep this under wraps, okay? No telling Penny. We stressed her out enough for one lifetime. There's no way we can bother her with this. This will be our little secret, okay? Oh yes, more secrets. That didn't go terribly wrong before. We'll be right here, so come let us know when you're ready to start. You all sit to the other Team Star bosses up to test bossum level. Music to my ears, let's go lay down a killer study session. Now, are we actually studying, or are we, like, battle studying? <laughs> oh my god, they look so normal. Sup, gang? Studying hard, I hope. Well, we were before you and your big mouth showed up. Here to check we're not slacking off, are you? Pretty much. Your eyes start glazing over the second I'm out the door. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Lady Airy, clad in her academy uniform. I feel mine eyes sharpen and my mind focus each time this vision returns to greet me. If only that focus were helpful for your studies, Atticus. Sorry I keep distracting you. <laughs> What's this? My ninja senses detect the presence of another behind thee, Lady Airy. Come, step forward, Nate. That we might see thy face. You, what the... No, 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 no. Why is this happening? I should have surmised as much. The strength of thy spirit precedes thee as ever, good fellow. Never mind that, Giacomo explained. 
What's Mark doing here? Hey now, be nice. Mark, wait, no, Professor Mark is going to be your tutor. Oh, glad tidings. I'm truly grateful to hear it. He's going to be what? Since when? You can't just go stomping around deciding stuff like this without asking anyone, Giacomo. And you, we don't need a tutor. Do us a favor and toddle on home, would you? I will smack you, kid. Hey, Artie. Uh-oh. Mark kindly agreed to come here and help us out. Oh, she's pissed. <laughs> so talking to him with that kind of attitude is unacceptable, right? Yeah, no, totally. I, sorry. Sorry who? Um, what I meant was, sorry, Mark. Lady Airy, in a menacing mood, what a vision of unusual rarity. Don't worry about Ortega. He just doesn't want you to see him flounder. We seem to have lost Melly. Where'd she go? Lady Mella declared her wish to stretch her legs minutes before your arrival. She departed rather suddenly and has not returned since. Well, we all know Mella. She just wandered off because she doesn't feel like studying. I hate to say it, but I guess that's probably true. <laughs> Sorry about that, Spark, but you think you could go find Mella for us? She'll be somewhere in the academy for sure. We'll stay on standby here and get everything prepared for our killer study session. Sorry to keep relying on you like this. I hope you find Mella without much trouble. I hope so too, because that would suck. She wanted to stretch her legs, so... Oh, she's here. Thank God for icons. What does she look like? Okay. Oh my God, is that her? I don't recognize that hair anywhere. Oh, she looks so weird. <laughs> Hey, Mark. <laughs> Seriously, you have eyes, don't you? Obviously, it's Mel you're talking to. And there it is. Alright, I guess I'm not decked out in my usual gear today. Ari made a big fuss about wearing our uniforms for this study group thing. So yeah, it's not like I had much of a choice. But what are you doing here? Uh, you came to raid your baby. <laughs> What's the occasion? You itching for another showdown or something? Okay, you came up here to bring me back to the classroom. This time got away from me while I was admiring the veggies. Might as well get going then. She still does the, the walking thing even though she doesn't have the boots on. Not like as much, but... Okay, maybe she totally does. What's up, amigos? Melly, welcome back. Mark, thanks for thanks so much for finding her. Uh, where were you lazing around this time? You know, here and there. Lady Mella, is something amiss? We're all good, right? The dream steady team's all here. That's what counts. Time's a-wasting, so I say let's hit the books. Take it away, Professor Mark. These three are counting on you. What? Yeah. Um. We're all screwed. <laughs> what exactly do they want me to do? How am I supposed to know this? I don't get it. Don't think I didn't see you and your smug face hovering there. You got some nerve. You realize I'm a second year student, right? I'm an entire year above you. Harry says we need to let you help, so fine, you can try to tutor me or whatever. But I'd be shocked if you can get this literature stuff to sting, uh, sink in. I can't speak! 
I mean, how am I supposed to know how some made-up characters in a story are feeling? See, the protagonist in this book is the mom in a mousehold family. Name's Mama Mousehold. We're supposed to analyze why she calls Papa Mousehold terrible in this passage. Uh, Mama Mousehold's eyes glitter with tears. It was clear from the letter Papa Mousehold had left she would never get to see him again, toying with my feelings right to the end. You really are a terrible thing. Um. Glittered with tears? Hmm. I mean. this so she calls him terrible but she actually loves him why doesn't she just say that then there's no way that's the right answer Are you sure about that my man I'd have thought you of all people would relate what's that supposed to mean why don't you do exactly the same thing with Mark you're always snapping at him and being difficult but you actually respect him a ton don't you what you must be joking there's no universe in which I respect this oaf even a little no way, nope. <laughs> Fine, okay, I guess people are tempted to say the opposite of what they mean sometimes. This question makes more sense to me now, but just a tiny bit. Thanks for not being entirely useless. <laughs> oh joy. <clears throat> what I know is that I know not. I have fathomed the depths of mine own in ignorance. A noble sensei, comest thou to proffer me a helping hand? Speak normal. <laughs> my deepest thanks. Mathematics is the scourge of my existence, in particular arithmetic. Tis an unsolvable mystery. But since my true calling lies in garment design, I feel I need not concern myself with numbers. They have not to do with fashion after all. Oh, you're gonna need numbers. Skill in mathematics will still be of service to me, you say? I do not quite follow. I think I know what Mark is getting at. It's like with our Team Star uniforms, remember? We ended up spending a lot of money on them. As indeed we should. One must not shy from expense when creating objects of great quality. But we had reams of fabric left over after the outfits were made. Don't you think we could have saved more money there? I... I cannot deny it. It is a fair point. <laughs> now that I think of it, the garment dimensions and the cost of materials demand calculation. And if selling one's creations, profit margins, too, come into play. A designer who pays heed to such figures and sums would surely prove the superior artisan. It would seem my thinking was naive. I had turned mine eyes from the inconvenient truth. That decides it. My heart has changed and my mind made up from now on. I will devote myself to the study of mathematics. Hey <laughs> Oh, I guess that'll do it. I kinda butted in on your tutoring just now. I'm glad it all worked out though. Thanks to you, Atticus seemed really inspired to study. He's the type that gets really absorbed once he's fired up, so I'm sure he'll be just fine. He looks dead focused. Alright. This is hard. What are you looking at, Mark? <laughs> yeah, you're our tutor now, aren't you? <laughs> Alright, then I was just doing some practice questions. Here, let me know if you think this one's true or false. You can get new Pokemon only by catching them yourself or trading with other trainers. Uh, the, um, true, true. Ah, I forgot eggs. <laughs> Another way you can get Pokemon. Don't go counting out eggs before they're even hatched. That's just rude. Okay, next one. What is the name of the gemstone that glows over Pokemon's head when it terastalizes? Oh, dude, I do not know any of this. Yeah, 
Yeah, that sounds about right. I guess it makes sense you know about all this. Seems as like you have your own terror orb. Either way, terrestrializing is pretty awesome, don't you think? Only outstanding students get to have a terror orb all for themselves, though. Okay, next one. It says zilch to do with tests, but uh, I want to ask you something. I don't know how to put it, though. It's a tricky one. You gotta promise not to laugh. How important do you think dreams are? <laughs> you could just straight up laugh. <laughs> That's so rude. Exactly, I'm talking about the future. What we want to be when we're older, that kind of stuff. Got no idea about all that right now. Meanwhile, most of Team Stars seem like they've got it figured out. They've got proper dreams. Even the veggies in the schoolyard are doing their best to grow, you know? Wish I had their kind of direction. I mean, what'll happen if I never figure it out? What if I never find a dream to chase? Honestly, I get scared just thinking about it. As do most people. How do you know I joined the art club? Well, whatever, that's just a hobby anyway. Like I'm gonna do art to earn a living. But now that I think about it, Mr. Dragon Brows does art for his job. He always looks like he's having a great time at school. It's like he's not working at all. If I could do something like that, if I could paint for a living, that'd be crazy fun. Do you think that could be it? Is it really okay to call that my dream? Why not? You're right, that's gotta be it. That's my dream. Man, I feel like a whole new person. Thanks, Mark. No problem. All right, we done? <laughs> you continue to tutor Team Star for a while. They are less dumb now. <laughs> All right, gang, I'd say it's about time we cue the outro and wrap up today's study sesh. Great. Great effort all around. Does everyone feel like they made progress? Totally. I sped through my practice questions like a champ. This Mark wasn't the world's worst tutor. Dude, I will smack you. <laughs> well, I learned that even arithmetic can be enthralling when engaged with it in press. Thanks to our steam tutor, I feel enlivened as a reverend drenched in poison. I feel like someone's used defog on me, man. I'm seeing everything so clearly. The knowledge is just pouring itself into my brain. It's brilliant, everyone. Well done. I can't believe I forgot about eggs. <laughs> Sounds like this was our best session yet. It must have been thanks to your expert tutoring. It really was kind of you to help us out. You prepared a little thank you gift from all of us, so here you go. Go, ooh, go ball cap, nice. Modify uniform A, B, Team Star sunglasses, Team Star gloves, heels, Team Star helmet, Team damn. Let's do Team Star's pose together too. Here, I'll teach you how to do it. I can do the, I can do the weird start. Guys, what are you all doing here? <laughs> We've been had. <laughs> Penny. Yeah, busted. I was just walking down the hall and saw you all in here. But that's fine. No one asked me to join, so I should just leave, shouldn't I? Oh, no. See, this is why you don't lie. <laughs> Sorry about that. See you later. Lady Penny, wait. It's not what you think, Penny. Hear us out. So what happened was, thank God, they just <laughs> cut to <laughs> cut to black. I thought you all decided not to talk to me anymore. We would never. That's what it must have looked like, though. Sorry, we made you worry. We just wanted to. We just didn't want to drag you into another one of our messes. Our bad, Penny. Well, apology not accepted. Wait, for real? Why do you guys get to decide that I just be weighed down by your problems? I, I'm your friend, right? So you should come bother me more. Lean on me. That's what I actually make me happy. Lady Penny. And if things get really bad, I can just hack into the school system and fix your <laughs> Penny, no. That's a terrible idea. Yeah, isn't that taking it a bit far? 
Sorry, that was a joke. I was trying to lighten things up in here, but I guess that was pretty out of character. Glad to hear it. If you were serious, I would have had to pummel some sense into you. But about before, I'm actually a pretty good tutor, you know. So feel free to ask me for help with studying and stuff anytime. We are honored by thy generosity. Does that mean we gotta get lectured by Mark and Penny now? I guess there are worse things. Careful, my man. That was dangerously close to a straight-up compliment. You can just come right out and say you like the idea. We all know you're thinking it. Indeed. I need not even use my ninja senses. So childishly apparent are thy true feelings. What? As if you know what's in my head. <laughs> you guys haven't got the first clue about me. Try getting to know me better before spouting nonsense. You're all the worst. I think we broke our take. <laughs> well, that was a nice little catch up with Team Star. So, now that we've wrapped up the little thing with uh, Toro, uh, Team Star, I think the only thing left now are the legendaries. So in the next episode, we're going to try and catch both, but more than likely... It's not going to go well, and I'll end up having to do one each. <laughs> so anyway, uh, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Come on back for more. Until then, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.